physique update. Six weeks on the button. Six weeks out. Let's do it. Let's pretend that's a gas logo. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think of these new tops as well. We've got these in t-shirts and hoodies. Nothing on the back as you can see, nice and basic. Let's get a little close up of the logo. As you can see, very nice there, Team MBK. On a serious note though, if anybody is interested in these, please just do let me know and I can of course get you sorted out. However, now the hoodie's off, Sarah can come back in the video. Welcome. What have we got for meal number one? A shake that doesn't help anybody's imagination whatsoever because we can just see you dipping some weird white thing <laughs> in and out of this shake. So I have two scoops of oats, a scoop of AJ, a yogurt. Remember, banana, remember, cameras up here. A yogurt. These, these are these are the people. A yogurt, a banana, and a handful of frozen berries, and a wee bit of honey in today's one. Amazing! And this has been your new meal number one. This is my new breakfast every day because I'm not because it's easy. And it's good. And it's nice. Yes, yes, it And it tastes nice. Yeah, it's good. And the bonus part to it is it's actually dense full of good macros and good micros. Yeah. Which at the end of the day is a, a very, a very good thing. Meal number one. Shocking. Pancakes once again. Oh my God. How many weeks has it been? It's only been 22. How many weeks have we got left? Six. Whoa. Meal number one, guys. Um, I've not actually mentioned it already either, and we've actually we've not just came to the realization. Well, Sarah kind of has. My split's not been all over the place, but it's also not been completely spot on this week because we've had different things on, and we've got different things coming up, which means we have to actually make the split work around that. So with things like traveling and that, where I'm going to be training bigger sessions like legs how I'm going to be training them, what pieces of equipment I'm going to have, where I'm at. We've been working it around that, which is why it's a little bit all over the place. So deadlifts have went back to a Saturday rather than a Friday. So we've got deadlifts and back. We have got a lovely big fat plate of pancakes going in. It's been a productive morning. We eventually got the posing done once we worked with the sun outside, which is the biggest pain in the arse ever. Like we've got to the point now where there's a square in the garden that literally just goes bright for like 20 seconds, then it goes dark, then it goes bright, then it goes dark. So we're always rushing back out, back in, back out, back in, because I get super stressed and I absolutely get so frustrated at the light and at the direct sun because with my skin tone and with natural light, my best like physique and the quality throughout pictures is only in dull natural light. I can't get away with anything else because it just washes me out and makes me look about 20 pounds heavier than what I actually am. And at six weeks out, this lean, I cannot afford that. Brand new, low weigh-in on the scales this morning once again. Super happy with that one. But at the same time, after the past couple of days, I have felt horrendous. Like this by far, I said it last week, but this by far has been the hardest week yet. 
um, especially over the course of the past rest day and the, the day before that and day after that, it was genuinely like, it was just really, really, really hard from an energy perspective, just attention span, like just everything was just all over the place and I just felt really bad. But again, at the end of the day, I'm being transparent with you guys. I don't want to just tell you that it's very easy because it's absolutely not. And especially from a natural bodybuilder's perspective, I have been dieting now for 22 weeks. I have not had an off plan. I've had one high day in 22 weeks. And that has been the exact same foods that I'm taking in, which as you know, is literally just oats, sweet potato, white potato, chicken, and my AGF. Like, I don't get refeeds on bagels on, on anything like that. I don't get off plan meals. I'm not lean enough to warrant to just go and get a pizza and it benefit me. That's not how we work. So um, if I'm gonna be brutally honest with you and, and, and tell you the actual insides of getting shredded and getting stage lean as a natural bodybuilder, it's it's not fucking easy, which is why I say that unless you absolutely live and breathe and love this, then it's not something that I would entertain. Sweet potato is all made as well, so obviously that's all prepped for today, which is nice. We're going to get the gym out of the way, hopefully nice and early if I stop rambling on right now. So we'll probably just catch up with you guys when we get to the gym. And just before we forget, another full shaker of water. We're still in the water, we're not in the monster. And to be fair, the last monster that I had was last deadlift day because I was keeping them in just for like them bigger demanding days to kind of enjoy something as well. But I went against it and because obviously I know that this is gonna benefit me a little bit more than a monster pre-session, we're gonna be taking in another shaker of water. So all in today, I think this'll, this'll take me up to around two and a half liters. I'm then gonna take in another between a liter and a half in the, the gym as well. And then obviously I'll make up a little bit more after training. But I like to get a lot more fluid in now, especially from water pre-gym, because I found that my pumps, my joint support, like my hydration in sessions is just 10 times better. So water over monster today again. Pre-workout of choice today is Unrivaled Nutrition's Train Smart V2. So keeping it non-stim as well. So we're not going in with defib, we're not going in with any high caffeine or anything like that. So, first of all, everybody's gonna to be totally different with this. So, nobody can call me out on it, literally. Nobody can call me out on this one because there's multiple different ways of doing a single arm pull down. However, this is my preference whenever it comes to a single arm pull down and definitely something that I would strongly suggest if you potentially struggle to connect with your lats. Try and always keep your shoulder locked back. Don't allow it to come out. So what you'll see is whenever I'm doing this, you can Come all the way out and overextend. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of extra extension. But if you struggle to be able to get back into that position where you can get your lats back into that shortened position that feels very nice, then I would never suggest to come out of it. So ultimately just come up until you've reached that full stretch whilst your shoulder's still locked back. Then drive that weight back with the elbow. Because trust me when I say this, you will connect with your lats so much better and you'll be so locked into the set that you'll just never lose that connection. actually feeling really good so this is another piece of equipment that I'm not used to running every single back session so I can't say I'm, I'm very used to it in terms of loadings and what I can just do consistently like consistently every single week however four plates just moved like a dream moved really well which is really nice so we'll go six plates I think I'll just take a nice work on this not looking for any record breaking numbers for sets of four so we'll just try and keep the reps above that six to eight rep marker for pretty much everything. Feel good from there, take a good session, in and out. Three, two, one, yep, 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 okay, mine. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, oh. That was a lot. Fuck. For this set though, I'm gonna pause longer here and squeeze longer here, okay? Just to make it harder. Okay. Fuck. Oh, we can look at this two different ways. To build a much stronger back or to build a much more developed back if your goal is bodybuilding that is. There's a few key components that you really need to take on board whenever you are training back, whenever you're performing pull downs, rows, when you're attacking the back from all angles. A few different things being range of motion, so making sure you're carrying out your maximum range of motion is always the goal and should always be the goal. Variations of rows and pull downs. Don't just stick to one pull down and one variation of a row. Make sure you are switching it up. Make sure you're rotating enough pieces of equipment or free weighted pieces of equipment because that is what's gonna help actually target your back from all angles. And spending both time in lengthened ranges and shortened ranges. So again, it's gonna come from variation depending on what you're doing, but making sure that you're at least spending a good bit of time in that full stretch and a good bit of time squeezing your back and building it up with blood. That is what's gonna help build a much, much that white potato on boiling there so pre-boiling so what we'll do is we'll wait until this starts bubbling and then it'll be ready to go into the air fryer so what i've been doing is because obviously i only have one meal of white potato pretty much every single day obviously just on my training days but because i only have one meal i prep enough always for two or three days at a time um, because it's super easy like the most i have is 350 grams so that is literally nothing at all so if i'm even prepping a kilogram of that which is really easy and you can put a kilogram of potato in the air fryer without any problems then it means that's three days worth of training day white potato already prepared and then when it means i'm done training i don't have to worry about making it
we had to just get some good old Instagram content on there as soon as possible. So we've uploaded the deadlifts from today. We've also uploaded some nasty white grip pull downs with, as we've said, the most suboptimal bar on the planet. And we've also got them good old T-bar rows. That Atlantis T-bar row, definitely one of my favorites. Now, on to next meal, but also along with my white potato, as you've seen, obviously rapid recovery has went in. So now it's time for my post-post-workout meal, which is gonna go down with some basic, which is my creatine for the day. So anybody that doesn't know this is a creatine based saturation and hydration formula. Basic is something that's been a daily essential for me for years, as you guys know already. So this is going to be washing down the white potato and then it'll mean I'll allow myself a little Pepsi Max. Yep, I'm going to go all out. I'll allow myself a little Pepsi Max for my last couple of sweet potato meals for today. If there's people still watching these videos and you're still not putting pink Himalayan salt on every single one of your meals, then genuinely don't know what's happening but second last sweet potato meal going in here along with a nice little tub of broccoli because it's been something that i have been slacking on i'm aware i've been slacking on it so i've got enough in here for my next two meals of today i'm now going to be taking that in every single day not that i've been having any sort of digestion issues or anything like that from it that is not the reason that i'm now taking action however I've been aware of it and I'm definitely going to get on top of it now because it is something that is, of course, going to fill me up a little bit nicer. Good fibre in it, very good micros, so it is something we do need to be doing. This is also going to be washed down with, like I said to you guys earlier, a nice little freezing cold can of Pepsi Max. Something else that I've actually not been really too bothered about over the past like few weeks. We were actually just talking about this. Same goes with Monster as well not been bothered about it i've just been having so much more water and to be honest with you like i've not been noticing any like i've not been missing it or anything like that i've not been bothered about it which is obviously a good thing it's nice that i'm kind of in the position now where i've been able to transition across to it being like a treat so it, it tastes that bit better it actually satisfies me that bit more rather than just slamming back a pepsi max because i feel like i need to same with a monster i have eggs to go as well before the night is up but six weeks out i'm going to try and get this video up as soon as possible because this is something that i want to be able to really stay on top of is where i'm at on prep i want my my content uploaded as soon as i possibly can get it up um but we're going to chill out we're going to stick a little bit of youtube movie on maybe really? youtube just to be honest there's nothing on youtube is there no as you can see this is my kitchen table right here so guys please help a boy out use my code on gasp use my code on hr labs subscribe to the channel like the video help the boy gain enough to be able to buy a kitchen table so we don't have to sit on the couch 24 7 and eat every single meal but aside from that thank you very much as always for watching and we'll just catch up with you all in the next video